That's some good water. You know what else is good? The cost of living in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Want to know what? Want to know some more information about the cost of living in Tulsa, Oklahoma? Well, you're in luck. That's what this video is about. We're going to go over grocery costs, gasoline costs, utility costs, eating out costs. We're going to go over public transit costs. And then, of course, you know, we're going to talk about median cost of housing. That's what this video is going to be all about. So if you're looking for something else like Josh skateboarding, it's not the video. It's not. It's all about cost of living in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Let me let me re resituate my chair here so I take a more uh, assertive approach when I'm doing the video. Sorry, I was slouching in my chair just then. I did not mean to do that, and I hope you can forgive me. Do you have a good Fourth of uh, not Fourth of July? <laughs> Do you have a good Happy New Year's? I sure hope so. I absolutely hope so. Why is it my branding up? Okay, perfect, guys. If you don't already know who I am, I want to introduce myself to you. My name's Josh Bardet. I work with the team of agents over at XP Realty. We help people buy, sell houses. That's what we do. This channel is all about living in pros, cons, cost of living. Things to know about Tulsa, Oklahoma, and the metro around Tulsa, Oklahoma. So if you want to learn more about that, I'm still trying to get situated in my seat, subscribe to the channel. Consider hitting like on the video if you like anything throughout the video. If you dislike things on the video, give it two thumbs down, two, not just one, two. That'll really stick it to me. And guys, as always, we're helping families every week relocate to, move to, and move within Tulsa and the Tulsa, Oklahoma metro area. Give us a call, shoot text, send us an email. We got your back when you're making a move to Tulsa, Oklahoma. We want to help you with your real estate needs. Call us. We can't help you if you don't call us. Let's get this screen shared, which I, of course, haven't done yet. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. Let's get this added to the stream so we can take a look at it. Guys, I've got a family of five. I've got three little toddlers and myself and my wife. And uh, we eat a lot. So I'm spending, on average, about $400 a month on food. I've also got two giant dogs and six chickens. So I spend a lot on food and two cats. We live on a little bit of an acreage out in rural Tulsa metro area. So uh, so you got to have cats for mice when you live in rural Oklahoma. You got to have dogs to protect the chickens when you live in rural Oklahoma. They have protected the chickens from three skunks already. Go dogs and three snakes, actually. Go dogs. So if you got chickens, you better get dogs. Just so you know, that's not anything to do with the cost of living. So I'm spending $400 a month at Walmart on groceries. We also do sprouts because my little man, he's gluten intolerant. Um, whole other thing, whole other video on that. Uh, if your kids are having some sort of allergies, definitely get them checked out for gluten intolerance and maybe it might help them like it did my little man in our family. But we won't go into that into too many details. So roughly $400 a month we're spending on groceries. That's, uh, that is a gluten-free diet that we are buying for the whole family. It's easier just to make the same meals for everyone as opposed to just making one set of meals for him. So we do do that. We do eat organic, non-GMO, and of course, kosher food. So that is what we're spending per month. Thumbs up if that's helpful. Thumbs up if you got a family of five and you're wondering what it costs to buy food in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's what it costs. Big thing also you want to know about is gasoline costs. Now, I don't think this is uh, 100% regular. I think this is regular E10 or regular with ethanol in it. I think you're looking more around $3 with the non-ethanol. I always buy the non-ethanol um, because I put ethanol in a car that I had all the time once, and that car didn't last as long as my other cars. So that's just my opinion. I'm not a scientist. I don't know anything about gasoline, but I buy regular. So when I'm buying regular, I'm looking more around $3 right now, and I believe the price showed here at Google is with ethanol. Average utility bills, $241 a month. Guys, that's averaged in the summertime. You're, if you don't have really good windows, really good insulation, your electric bill is expensive. No joke about it. Oklahoma, it gets hot, guys. There's three months out of the year that if you don't have your AC on upstairs, it will literally melt the glue off your windows. So keep that in mind when you are moving here. And then in the wintertime, your ONG bill goes up, but your electric bill goes down. So but on average, you're looking at $250 a month for electric and gas on average. And that's and that's with gas going up in the wintertime and electric going down in the wintertime. And then electric going up in the summertime 
and gas going down in the summertime. Does that make sense? Thumbs up. If that makes sense, things to know, you do have electric bills and gas bills typically when you're buying a home, and it's also Oklahoma metro area. Let's look at eating out. Guys, my wife and I love Abuelos. We love eating out. So when you're looking at Abuelos menu for appetizers, if you want some green chili quesadillas, you're looking at $10.99. If you want some nachos grande, you're looking at $14.99. If you want a sampler dip, an Abuelos dip sampler, you're looking at $11.99 when you're eating out. And if you're a soup and salad person, you can get grilled chicken salad for $15.99, tortilla soup for $3.99. Folks, thumbs up if this is helpful, if you like eating out. Tex-Mex, the Grande, $22.99, quesadilla al horno is chicken, $15.99, steak, $16.99, uh, fajita, chimichanga is $20.99 and $17.99. So thumbs up if you like Mexican, that's what you're looking at. If you like good old-fashioned uh I guess what you'd call cowboy food, you'd look at Charleston's restaurant. It's going to have things like your fried chicken, your fried chicken, your fried chicken steak, your fried chicken. And we'll go through the menu together. So uh, starters, if you want some queso, 11 bucks. If you want today's featured soup, 8 or $9. Potato soup is 8 or $9. Salads, you're looking at chicken club salad, $18. Uh, house or Caesar salad, but today's soup is $16. If you love burgers, oh man, I love burgers. If you love a cheeseburger, you get it for $16. If you tell them to hold the cheese, it's not any cheaper, I don't think. Grilled chicken, avocado club, hold the bacon, $17. Famous French dip, $24, folks. Chicken, if you want an enchilada plata, enchilada plate, <laughs> $18. And this is food. This is this is Charleston's restaurant in Tulsa, Oklahoma, folks. I believe this one's over in Broken Bow, where I got this menu from. If you're stopping by, you've got to eat abuelos, and you've got to eat Charleston's restaurant, okay? So chicken piccata. You're looking at $19 specialty. If you want grilled fried steak, $19. If you want short smoked hammond, you're looking at $32. And then desserts, 11 bucks each. Don't forget to get that dessert. Even if you don't eat it right away in the morning when you wake up, it goes great with coffee. Thumbs up if you love eating dessert with coffee. Now, if you got the kiddos and you want to take them to a place with indoor playgrounds, check it out. You always call ahead, verify. Most Chick-fil-A's have indoor playgrounds. That's very important. In the wintertime, folks, very, very important. Not only can you feed the kids, but you can let them run around for 45 minutes to an hour. So when you take them home, they go to bed. They go to bed. If you've got kiddos, if you've got toddlers, you absolutely know what I'm talking about. Chick-fil-A is a place to check out. You can get them some grilled chicken bites, some of the waffle French fries. Feed it to them. Let them run around to the heart's desire. Take them home. Give them a bath and put them to bed. So if you want to Chick-fil-A sandwich, good old Chick-fil-A sandwich, if you and the missus want one. I believe, why isn't it showing me the cost? I I think a Chick-fil-A sandwich is like four bucks, maybe. The missus and I, we always get two of those each to get filled up, but I don't know why it's not giving me the prices. Um, but this, the clubs, where's my menu go? The club sandwiches are a little yummy, but um, they're a lot more filling. So they've got the cheese, they've got the tomatoes, they've got the lettuce. If you want the deluxe sandwich, has a whole lot more on it. And then they've also got a spicy deluxe sandwich. If you don't care for your bottom, when you go poo poo, you can get one of those folks and it lives up to its name. Yes. I used to eat those as a young man. No, thank you. As I got older, no, thank you. will not do spicy deluxe chicken sandwiches anymore. And it's because of the way it comes out, not because how amazing it tastes on the way in. I hope you know what I'm saying. If you don't, I'm sorry. Uh, give me a call. Should we text him an email and I'd explain to you in more detail, but it's very, uh, it's very uh, biological. <laughs> Thumbs up if you love that. Thumbs up if you love that. Um, guys, public transit cost in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's 35 bucks for a month pass. So if you live down in Jeeks and you want to take public transit to Tulsa, Oklahoma, that is an option, and this is, and they do have all sorts of bus routes on public transit throughout Tulsa, Oklahoma. So let's take a look at this one. So the Milk in Hartford, that's going to be over by the airport. Let me try to zoom out for you real quick. So it's the north side of Tulsa, the Milk and Hartford route, and it takes you. Basically over by Turnley and Northgate through Shady Oaks, 
down through Reservoir Hill, Gilcrest Hills, down to Tulsa. So this is a website that you could definitely check out for all the different bus routes if you want public transportation. And then, like I said, the uh, fares, I believe they're $35 a month. $35 a month if you're an adult. $45. $45 a month for the 31-day pass if you're an adult. If you are military, your 31-day pass is only $22.50. $22.50 on public transit. So if that's helpful, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Guys, it's Oklahoma. It's not walkable. You'll either need to live somewhere where you do have access to public transit or have a car, okay? So it's Oklahoma. It's not walkable. I mean, you could live in a condo right downtown if you want. Um, you could, but if you want some of the more medium price home prices, a little further away from the city might be a little more affordable. So checking out housing costs, guys. The median housing costs for Tulsa, Oklahoma right now, $208,000. $208,000. Still super affordable compared to the national average. And it's uh, less expensive than Edmond, by golly. It absolutely is. It's about the same cost as Oklahoma City right now. So looking at Jinx, you're looking at 363 750 that's more along the lines of the Edmond market. So that is the upper end towards uh, the Tulsa market. Broken Bow, 248.5. Super affordable still. Super affordable for the Tulsa metro area and nationally. So if you're selling you know, a million dollar plus property, a $750,000 plus property in Washington, in San Francisco, over in New York, something like that, and you want to live mortgage free, Tulsa, Oklahoma is a great option to look at, folks. It absolutely is. And the median sales price for homes in Coweta is only $235,000 also. Coweta is a great little town, about a 30-minute commute from Tulsa, Oklahoma, located in the southeast of the Tulsa metro area. So that's my cost of living video, guys. There's probably tons and tons of questions, tons and tons of information that you want above and beyond this information. Put them down in the comments below. Or, guys, you know, call, text, or email us. The team of agents I work with, EXP Realty and I, we'd absolutely love to earn your business. We love helping the people that we help, and we'd love to help you too with all your Tulsa, Oklahoma real estate needs. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Keep a lookout for new ones that drop. I'm trying to do one a week, and I'm going to keep on that schedule. I will occasionally drop two a week too. That way you're able to enjoy these amazing informational videos on living in, moving to, and relocating to Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Tulsa, Oklahoma metro area. We got your back when you're making a move to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Give us a call. Right there, guys. See ya on the next video.